In 1967, an entire blackfish crew went missing over 20 miles off their hometown Barra Lee. Sherla was just 14 years old at the time. My experience now, I was on, on sea. This occasion now. George Frederick, more commonly known as Tall Twelve, recalls being at sea with his crew the same day, along with a third boat. We were in some purpose, and then we see the weather really start to turn up. We did not come short. We leave two boats out there. F Philip Charles, we sold rest in peace. And Clyde, never better. And the next boat was college. College. We them chasing the purpose then. Sadly, College's boat was the one bound for tragedy as Tall Twelve and his crew purposely broke their sails because of terrible winds, and the captain ordered them all to row back to shore, leaving the other boats. It took them two days. You come to shore because the weather was back. There was two boats was out basically. Yes, 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 they didn't see what I'm talking about now. Which was, Philip Charles was one, and College was the other one. Was the other one. When we reached ashore, when we reached the lake, Philip came ashore. When Philip's crew arrived at shore, he recounted seeing College's crew waving in distress, but the weather was too harsh for them to turn around and rescue the whalers. Who went from Cotton Sill? Charlotte and Princey. He was the way them. One came and talked to me. How did the thing go? You see, you see when you um, cut it turn over. But they couldn't go back at the time. Youngest man was there. Mm. Well, that guy named Charlie. They took him Charlie. He was 15. For six man crew. He always a captain. He went to six with the barry. The barry. He was still a mess. Come back. It was a morning in Barry. So, they only thing you could remember.